cops rely on glitter to crack crimes? The sky is raining viruses? Your airbag might not be as safe as you think? It's amazing how many crazy science facts slip through the net. Our list today is so surprising it makes a mad scientist look like a librarian at a tea dance. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 crazy science facts you may not know. 25. Copper fights bacteria. There's a secret side to copper you may not know. This humble brown metal has an antimicrobial quality, i.e. it tackles microorganisms. Physician Victor Burke realized copper had a powerful effect on cholera back in 1852, though it was also used in medicine by ancient peoples such as the Greeks and Romans. Fast forward to 2008, and the US Environmental Protection Agency reported that copper could eliminate most bacteria within two hours. 24. Buckyballs. If you're wondering what buckyballs are, well then join the club. They sound like a children's toy, but they're actually super expensive carbon nanostructures. Basically, these things are really small and contain carbon and other sciency goodness. Otherwise known as endofullerenes, they were first heard about around 2016 and were reportedly designed to make atomic clocks smaller. Why are they called buckyballs? That's easy. They're round and kind of resemble a football on an atomic level. Bucky comes from the word Buckminster Fullerene, and a gram of the stuff comes in at $167 million. 23. Toxic airbags. They can save your life, but vehicle airbags come at a cost, and that cost is sodium azide. Now, this crystalline chemical does good things. I mean, it inflates your airbag in the crash. Downside, it can be potentially explosive if it mixes with water or an acid. In this state, it becomes hydrozoic acid, which is a volatile compound. Don't get me wrong, I am a huge fan of airbags, but it doesn't hurt to be aware of the dangerous stuff that goes into road safety. 22. The Seaborg Element Scientists love little details. So you can imagine how American chemist Glenn Seberg felt upon realizing something crazy and cool. You see, he found he could write his own workplace address using chemical elements to spell things out. Namely, the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in Berkeley, California, America. How does that work? Well, simply put, he wrote S-G-L-R-B-K-C-F and A-M, which stands for Seaborgium, Laurentium, Berkelium, Californium, and Americium. There was an element named after himself, so why not? After all, this was the guy who helped discover plutonium. 21. What does a camel store in its hump? Water? Nope. You're likely to find fat inside a camel's hump, uh, and also some blood. Why am I bringing up this icky image? because camel's blood is surprisingly interesting. Going back to wet stuff, these hardy creatures are adept at handling dehydration out in the desert. The dromedary camel, which has a single hump, can blow up its oxygen-packed red blood cells to approximately double the size of regular beasts. This means when the camel needs to drink, it can really drink. Humans, meanwhile, are advised to take small sips of water after getting dehydrated. 20. How you feel affects what you learn. Education isn't just about absorbing information. Your emotions play a major role in how those facts, stats, and little pieces of trivia are processed. If you're stressed, then you're less likely to remember what you've heard or read. So how do you relax and focus properly? Interacting with fellow learners in a socially oriented group is one way, though it's not for everyone. Whether you're a loner or a people person, finding your happy place is important for gaining knowledge. You see, happiness means that chemicals such as serotonin and dopamine are released. These improve your memory and help your brain to fire on all cylinders. 19. Goats are a lot like dogs. We don't automatically make a link between goats and dogs. However, a study published in 2016 revealed that goats are much like dogs in the way they react to humans. The team at Queen Mary University of London saw goats staring at people when getting into difficulty and also sniffing out treats, similar to their canine counterparts. It appears that goats have the same level of intelligence, plus they develop emotional connections to people. You can also put them on a leash, though the jury is out whether or not it's good for the goat. 18. Neuroplasticity. The brain is a muscle that needs to be exercised. It doesn't sit there like a blob. There are all kinds of exciting things going on inside. Your brain contains billions of neurons or nerve cells, like a 
big old box of wires. These neurons join up, break apart, and generally rearrange themselves according to the experiences you have. Neuroplasticity refers to the way your brain does this. Experts believe if you don't give yourself a mental workout, you'll be more open to a condition like Alzheimer's. They literally describe this approach as use it or lose it. 17, the weird monkey print. Monkeys have fingers. So surprise, surprise, they have fingerprints. But did you know they also have them on their tails? The black-headed spider monkey found in Central and South America uses its tail to get around. Part of the tail is bald, which makes sense. Fur and hair and such are just gonna interfere with the grip. And the exposed part of the tail has a print. As with the fingerprint, the design of each tail print is unique to the individual it belongs to. I'd know that tail anywhere. Phrasing. 16, neurodivergent yawning. When someone yawns, chances are, uh, you'll yawn too. Why does this happen? And sometimes when you just read the word, people don't exactly know. However, if you're neurodivergent and you also happen to lack social skills, then you probably won't join in on the yawning. Collective yawning has been linked to social mirroring, the instinctive copying of people around you. If someone is, say, autistic, then this will naturally impact whether they follow the herd when there's an outbreak of yawns. Oh, I can't. <sighs> yep. I can't read the word or hear the word without doing it, so I guess I do not fall in that scale. Ugh. 15. Cats have whiskers on their legs. Whiskers aren't just a decoration on a cat. They're highly sensitive and used as an extension of the feline's nervous system. You may be surprised to hear that cats have whiskers on their front legs also. You'll find them at the back. Known as carpal whiskers, they literally come in handy when the cat is holding onto a tree or a tasty live morsel. 14, your brain controls your lungs. We take breathing for granted, but how does it actually work? Well, it all starts up top in the brain. Here's what's described as a respiratory center, located between the brainstem and spinal cord, otherwise known as the medulla oblongata. It's the respiratory center that's ultimately in charge of breathing, giving your muscles the go-ahead to do the whole, you know, respiration thing. 13, sea urchins sharpen their own teeth. Ugh, can you imagine filing away at your own teeth? Oh, I don't like this. Me neither. I prefer to rely on a professional sadist. Sorry, dentist. A sea urchin, on the other hand, has no issues with self-dentistry. Research from 2018 showed that they naturally sharpen each of their teeth. Sea urchins have five jaws to go along with their five individual teeth. The teeth have a tough outer layer that scrapes against its fellows like a built-in knife sharpener. Do the teeth wear down? No, because the material grows back. That sounds miserable. Ah, uh, no. Nope. Mm -mm. 12. Goalkeepers think faster. In 2023, a study was released showing that goalies view the world around them more rapidly than their teammates. Speaking of teams, the study was conducted by a group of scientists from Dublin. What makes goalkeepers so speedy? Well, the study found that goalies relied on both sight and hearing to locate the ball. The split-second decision-making needed to find the ball, combined with the info coming in from different senses, means that their brains are perfectly trained to react faster than the average player. And I'm also going to assume the same can probably be said with hockey goalies, not just soccer slash football. It's a tinier object to try to find, too. 11. Glitter can fight crime. Not as a weird and messy superhero named Glitter Man, but as a massively annoying art material that gets everywhere. CSI has a field day with this pesky substance, which apparently looks groovy under a microscope. What crimes has Glitter solved? Well, for starters, a murder case where glitter in the victim's hair was linked to traces found in the killer's mode of transportation. 10. Herring sperm puts out fires. This astonishing, for lack of a better term, discovery came in 2013. You could say it was off the scale. <laughs> Academic research in Turin, Italy made cotton fabric non-flammable with the help of DNA extracted from fishy swimmers. How did this combination come about? I don't wanna know. The important thing is that the sperm from herrings contains DNA, and DNA features phosphate and nitrogen. Heat them up, then a foamy, carbon-rich layer is created that fire can't get around. Nine, bee stings are 88% water. Bee stings are painful. That much is obvious to anyone who's been on a picnic or razzed a beekeeper convention. So how crazy is it that the vast majority of the venom 
is water. Unfortunately, because human flesh is pretty moist, the watery mixture spreads beneath our skin, causing maximum pain. The venom also has an acidic pH level of up to 5.5. So it's not just a bee, it's also a bit of a xenomorph. Eight, superfluid helium acts like Spider-Man. Liquid helium takes on a life of its own when cooled to a certain temperature. That magic number is several degrees below a boiling point of minus 452 degrees Fahrenheit. It becomes frictionless and lacks solidity. Why? Well, the atoms in helium are extremely light and don't settle down, essentially meaning this stuff takes on spidey type qualities. For example, it's been observed climbing up the walls of a container. Seven, we're all a little bit blind. Did you know we all have a blind spot in our eyes? You won't really notice it because it's way back in your eye where the retina is. Your retina is a light sensitive layer which kind of acts as a plug-in point for your optic nerve. Think of the optic nerve as an electric cable running images to your brain. And there's an optic disc where the nerve and the retina meet. Here, you don't get any vision. This is called a scotoma. But be warned, you can also develop them in your central vision through macular degeneration and other diseases. If in doubt, get it checked out. Six, horses have been cloned. Horse cloning is a thing, in case you weren't aware, and it's been going on for decades. It first happened in Italy back in 2003. You'd think after all these years it'd be a smooth process, but nay. <laughs> According to scientists, they can't get an exact copy of the original horse. Why? Uh, that's one heck of an explanation that needs a video in and of itself. However, the basics are that the mitochondrial DNA affects the process, sort of like grit in a jelly mold, or jello for us Americans. Five, your stomach gets embarrassed. Your stomach blushes, just like your cheeks. Embarrassment leads to an adrenaline surge, which expands your capillaries. These are seen on your face, but the redness also occurs in your stomach lining. People can't actually see that, but it's still crazy to think about. Now you know when you eat three Big Macs in a row, your gut is just as ashamed as you are. Four, baby bites back. Sometimes teeth get a head start on your baby. It's generally assumed that they grow over time post-birth, yet babies will occasionally come out of the womb with a natal tooth ready to go. This reportedly happens for one in every 2,000 cases. It's just one of those miracles of nature, though it actually can spell danger for the little one as a choking hazard, for example. Keep a close eye and everything should be fine. Three, a fever can give you brain damage. We've got a fact fever here at List 25. A less fun fever, of course, is one with a high temperature that potentially damages your brain. Harvard Medical School states that if you exceed 106 degrees Fahrenheit, this can impact you in a lasting way. Fevers are of particular concern in children. Though reportedly a fever caused by infection with no external factors or a pre-existing nervous system issue is highly unlikely to affect someone's brain. Seek professional medical advice in any case if you're concerned. Two, you wouldn't sink into a volcano. How horrible would it be to fall into a volcano and sink into a pool of gloopy, melting hot lava? Well, for starters, you won't sink. Sources have compared the viscosity of lava to peanut butter, meaning that luckily for you, you'll float and burn to a crisp within seconds, of course. Either way, not falling into volcanoes is probably the best course of action. One, virus rain. Viruses can come from the sky? Well, you might need to put up your umbrella because according to experts, we are being bombarded with a reported 800 million viruses per square meter, approximately. The shocking news was revealed in 2018. Amazingly, the viruses are carried into our atmosphere via soil and water droplets that are whipped up in the clouds. At an altitude of 2,500 to 3,000 meters, the icky stuff starts flying around like a highly infectious batch of rain, and it's gonna have to land sometime on us. So. What's your favorite science fact? Let me know in the comments below. And also don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones. Links in that description, as per usual. And if you enjoyed this list, you will love 25 strangest science experiments that actually happened. Because, you know, I love science, but sometimes, woo, we really study things that seem really obvious. Or just, why did we need to know that? Like fish semen stopping fires. How did that come about? Anyway, <laughs> check these. More crazy science experiments that have happened. I don't think that one was on this one. 